would this place make my top five chicken chops in Manchester? If I redo that video, would it come in my sort of top five? Hey guys, Ali here, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Chicken Shack. I've heard some really, really good stuff about these guys, especially sort of in the comments on my videos. A lot of you think these guys should have actually made my top five uh, chicken chops in Manchester videos. So I'm kind of expecting a hey man, I'm expecting something sort of like a nine out of 10, something really, really good. So no extra pressure on these guys. But uh, yeah, so looking forward to going inside. It's absolutely freezing. Uh, so let's go inside now, let's get some food. Like I said, I'm expecting something that should maybe break into that sort of top five really in Manchester for chicken chops. So let's go inside and find out. Okay, so we're inside. Have a look at the menu. It looks pretty good, I have to say. I like a few different bits and bobs of the menu. So I've ordered, I've tried to, like always, I've tried to get a fair few things. So I'll give you guys a, a fair review. So I've got like a spicy chicken burger. I've got a couple of different types of wings. I've got their own shack juice, which, which sounds really, really good. So I'm gonna try that as well. I've got a shack sauce as well, so I'll try that. So yeah, I've made my order. I put that in. I'm just gonna wait for the food to come out now, guys. And I'll start that review. But just before I do that, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got a ton of content coming. So the food is here and there's a lot of it. So I think I can actually get a really, really good reviewing for you guys. I can go through different parts of the menu. I'm actually gonna start with just one of my favorite things really. It's actually a double chicken spicy burger. A lot of these places, these chicken shops, they offer like a double fillet burger, but some of them offer a spicy burger, which is, that's what I like, man. So let's try that first. Packaged really well. It feels quite heavy actually. So looking forward to unpacking this and making a start on eating it. All right, so I've unwrapped it. Let's have a little look at it. It looks super saucy. It's actually a really, really good size as well. I'm looking forward to getting into that. I've actually got double cheese in there as well, just to mellow out slightly. It looks tasty. It smells great. It's piping hot as well. Hey, man. That was really good. Really, really good, actually, because spiciness, absolutely on point. What I like is the batter. It's still got a little bit of crunch to it because a lot of places, when they dip, the actual chicken into the spicy sauce. The chicken itself is already quite soggy. This must have been fairly crispy because the batter has got a little bit of crunch to it. The spice is nice, but it doesn't actually overpower the chicken or the batter. The batter and chicken can actually still come through. Really, really good actually. Good size as well. That is a really, really good chicken burger. Excited to move on, but I'm gonna come straight back to this because this is super tasty. There's so much going on here food-wise, guys. I'm excited to move on, but that burger was super saucy, super spicy, just super tasty, proper hay man for sure. Ooh, okay, so we've got some gravy. Actually, do you know what? Before the gravy, what I'm gonna do is actually go for the wings. So we've got like a trio of wings. So we have the hot wings, um, sort of general sort of hot wings really. Um, and then we've actually got barbecue wings. And then we've got hot wings that are dipped in some spicy sauce. So like hot wings plus. <laughs> okay, so let's start the hot wing round. So I'm gonna go with, actually go with the plain ones first. So these are the standard fried chicken hot wings. They're tasty, fresh, super hot. I actually like the batter. It's seasoned really, really well. However, let's now go for the spicier ones because that's generally where my heart lies with this kind of stuff. Let's try it. Would 100% get these spicy ones again because they have a really good kick. But again, I like that the batter is actually still a little bit crunchy. So just texturally, that's quite nice. I like that. The hot wings, for sure, the ones that are dipped in the spicy sauce are fantastic. Just do a complete 180 and go for the barbecue wings, which generally are a little bit sweet. So let's try these. You can see they are slathered in a barbecue sauce. So they're not shy on dipping these in their sauce. Let's try. I'm always 50-50 barbecue because when it's done well, I really, really like it. When it's not done well, I find it way too sweet. So let's try. Okay, so hot wings really good. Uh, the spicier wings, the hot wings dipped in spicy sauce, they're really good. Barbecue wings, a little bit sweet for me, so I probably wouldn't get them, but I would definitely get the spicy wings. They're really, really tasty. And the hot wings are good as well. So we've got the chicken. We've got the uh, chicken strips, which actually look massive. These should step on the Olympia stage for bodybuilding, because these are absolutely ginormous. These look really, really good. Uh, we've also got the gravy, the shack juice, ton of stuff that I still need to review. So let's crack on with, do you know what? Let's have a little tiny segment for just the gravy, actually. All right, let's try this gravy then. Oh. Hey man, that gravy is absolutely packed full of flavor. Like per capita or like per milliliter. I don't know what the ratios are, man, but this is absolutely packed full of flavor. Really, really full. 
body of flavor going on there. There's a good amount of pepper in there. It's a chicken gravy, so it's got a really, really lovely sort of herby taste. That is absolutely fantastic. I like the gravy. It's a little bit runnier than what you might expect from a gravy, but don't let that put you off. It's actually really, really good. When you sort of dip some chicken in there next, I think maybe even the spicy wing. Definitely one of the best gravies I've had uh, from a takeaway for sure. Actually, talking about takeaways, it's actually pretty nice in here as well, actually. I'll show you some footage uh, of what it's like inside. I think the difference between here and maybe some of the other places in that top five video is this definitely has a nice vibe going to it. You can sit in here. I can see myself sitting here with like friends, family, for sure. It's nice in here. Right, let's now try the chicken strip, which again are absolutely massive. I'm gonna try the shack juice next because unique obviously to these guys. No idea what's inside it, so I'm just gonna try it and sort of blind taste test it really. But look at the size of these though. These are absolutely massive. These are the chicken strips. Oh man, that looks good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull it apart and I'm actually gonna dip it in the Ooh, I would normally dip it into the gravy, but just because I'm doing a review, I've never tried the shack sauce. Let's give that a go. It kind of tastes like a peri mayo. That's the best way I think I could describe it. I actually asked the chap before, and that's kind of how we described it as well. So it's like a peri slash sriracha mayo. That's kind of how I would think. That's how that sort of tastes really. It's quite a mellow taste. I think it's definitely got a mayo base for sure, with like a hint of spice in there too. But for me, man, you've got to dip the chicken in the gravy. The gravy is absolutely fantastic here. Okay, so let's now move on actually to the shack juice. Like I said, this is actually unique to these guys. Uh, this is their own drink. So I thought I'd give that a go. Actually, I asked the chap actually who owns this place what actually is in this. And he said, actually, why don't you try and guess? So and that's quite fun. I'm gonna put my palate to the test. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it now. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think it is. And I'll just, I'll just ask them what sort of flavor profile it has. Oh, it's quite sweet. I'd say it's definitely fruit, it tastes like a fruit punch. There's a decent amount of cherry in there for sure. Yeah, like a tropical fruit punch with a, a strong amount of cherry. I'm gonna quickly find out what's actually in here back in a second. Right, okay, so I did, I have just asked the owner actually what's inside, so I've got it pretty much right. Obviously it's their own recipe for sure, but it does have undertones of cherry. It's got like a, have you guys had those um, bubblegum fizzy bottles? those sweets, right? It's got a sort of slight taste of that as well. So I actually would recommend this to have with some spicy chicken. They also actually have milkshakes. If you want to have that with spicy chicken. Personally, I would rather have that or like a Diet Coke with, with, with actually my spicy chicken. But I know a lot of you guys are fans of milkshakes. Actually, just to bore you guys, milk is really good to have with spicy food because it's spicy food. There's a chemical. It begins with C. I always forget how to say it. It's like uh, chaos pin, something like that. I'm going to put it on the screen somewhere. That's actually what will give spice its heat. Milk is actually uh, really, really fatty, and that chemical that's in spice is actually fat soluble. So when you have spice on your tongue, you drink milk, this is boring everyone, I know for sure. But long story short, if you've got a spicy mouth, have some milk. Ooh, that's the Biscoff milkshake, and that is absolutely packed full of Biscoff. So if you like Biscoff, if you like milkshakes, you're gonna like that. Anyway, that's probably enough of me rambling. Let's actually try the chicken from here as well, because of course they are a fried chicken shop, so whilst they do the burgers, the wings and whatnot, they actually have pieces of chicken as well. Let's go for the legs, one of my favorite pieces. It's quite succulent. The legs actually retained a lot of its moisture, so it's not dry at all. It's really tender. Again, I do love the actual batter here because it's not overpowering. I quite enjoy that, so you can definitely, definitely appreciate the chicken and cannot forget the gravy. The gravy is probably the best gravy from a takeaway that I think I've had. Okay, so the question that I asked or thought about really at the beginning of this video is, would this place make my top five chicken shops in Manchester? If I asked to redo that video, would it come in my sort of top five? Yeah, I think it would actually. I think what I would do is I'd remove my fifth spot. So spoilers coming for that video if you haven't seen it already. I'll link it in the description. But spoilers, fifth spot in that video was uh, Chester's. I would remove that and then I think I would probably have to reorganize my list. I don't want to say where these guys would come because I need to actually think about it, but they would definitely make the top five for sure. So I'm really, really glad I've come here. In fact, I'm going to finish the rest of my food because it's absolutely delicious. So guys, that does take me to the end of today's video. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it. Just all the stuff that us YouTubers constantly ask for. <laughs> but no, thank you so much again for staying by to the end. And I'll see you guys in that next one. Bye, 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 bye.